And also, too, it's going to be one of those things, right? This is going to be another sleeping giant. We all know mm -hmm. the That's implications so that this could have on the valuation of Tesla down the road. Yeah. What else? What else did we have this year that was so spectacular? I, I would say, you know, there was tons of updates with full self-driving as well. Yes. Um, there was a lot of software updates. Uh, I was the original like public tester. So I've been testing this for three years and three or four months. And uh, this year, I believe something, um, I think Chuck mentioned it on a Spaces Today. I think they ha we've had 16 FSD updates this year wow. alone. So, uh, you know, we're all still waiting for FSD V12, uh, which will not be uh, a beta version anymore. And who knows how long that's going to take. I'm not going to put a, a, a timeline that's and some, beg mm -hmm. for it because it's just, it's one of those <laughs> things you just can't rush, but it's just one of those things where, you know, full self-driving continues to make huge headways. And we all know the way that Tesla is solving and tackling this problem is from a general perspective. And we also saw like what happened to Cruise. Um, unfortunately mm -hmm. they had a, a insane accident where it literally ran over a pedestrian or it was on top of a pedestrian. And that whole business now has collapsed. Leaders have left. Mm. Uh, they've pulled a ton of funding and they're no longer able to have autonomous cars in San Francisco. But that whole business has flopped mm. now. So it's just one of those things where, um, you know, Tesla's uh, the full self driving has made, you know, huge steps forward this past year as well. We, we obviously talked about Optimus, right? Or we maybe we haven't talked about Optimus yet as well but yeah optimus is is going to be an absolute game changer uh there was a video of uh even amazon starting to test uh robots in their uh packaging facilities yep. but mm -hmm. what optimus is going to do is it's going to change our daily lives to the point where i think even elon has said that you know if this thing is up and running you know at that point you're going to need your universal basic income because you know, mm -hmm. uh, with AI and bots, it's just going to there's going to be a lot of stuff that it's just going to uh, jobs that it's going to take and and things that, you know, it's it's just going to change. And so, again, just imagine, you know, you're at home. Dishes are being taken care of. Trash is being taken out. Rooms are being cleaned. Even when you go to checkouts, if you need help, you know, you can just talk mm -hmm. with robots and other things like that. But the progress of Optimus um, you know, I I've been watching like Boston Dynamics from afar for years, and yeah. I I don't think I've ever seen any anything like this at all. Mm -hmm. One thing that was interesting too, actually, a shout out to Hans. He actually called it out. So you see the light bar, the light blue light bar. It's yep. cool that they made that similar to how the Cybertruck is as well. So yeah, they're starting of to course. like. When I saw that, I immediately thought of that, that um, this is um, going into the vision of the whole new category of, of the cars. And we will see more and more of that. And I think Elon's kind of dream, and this is also a perfect transition after the bot, we're going to dive into Elon a little bit, I think, uh, is also... It, it fits so much to the whole design aesthetic of the rest. It's a futuristic um, robot that I could totally see inside of the inside of the Cybertruck being deployed and uh, walking out of that thing. Um, people always write, oh, you should drive a car. That would be the best thing. That would be totally unnecessary because because we ca the cars can drive themselves, of course. But still, the, the, the robot, the aesthetic, the light bar, uh, totally on 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 brand uh, in that sense uh, on the new new uh, updated versions and it makes also sense to see what the robot is doing if it has a color stage uh, on the head for example it's red it's it's uh, yellow it's blue you know kind of have a little bit insight on what it, it's doing uh, for example if it's doing a special test then the color could change on the line or something so i think this would be uh, very good but but yeah please go on i didn't want to interrupt so the light bar and everything. Yeah, yeah, no, it's um, like I said, it's just the progress that we've seen, right? I think even in some of the first uh, videos, it was able to be able to kind of tell the colors of different mm -hmm. objects and put them in the right box. True. And now it's able to not only do that, but it's able to see like an egg and notice, okay, this is delicate. So I have to be very careful when I, when I, when I do it, but for, for them to be making this type of progress, you know, I, I don't think I've ever seen this with, with other robotics companies mm -hmm. making. Um, but the crazy thing is because they're solving real world AI with, um, yep. will self-driving, 
they're able to take that framework and put it into a bot to, to be able to operate around your house. And obviously we know, I would assume, you know, driving is a lot harder than walking around a factory. It's a lot harder than, mm -hmm. you know, walking around your house and doing like regular activities. And so it's, it's one of those things where you're able to see stuff that they're already doing and, and move it into the, um, uh, into a robot and mm -hmm. the, the amount that this bot is learning is is insane because all they have to do is just train it through the neural network with videos and and mm -hmm. give it more and more feedback on how to correctly do various things and that's how it's going to learn so i mean that's how fsd is right now yeah and then it can even dance uh, too <laughs> yeah we see that and yeah and and th this is the great thing that people uh, mostly overlooked i've also had um scott walter on recently um which this video totally blew up as as, as we know yeah. uh, you also uh, commented that it was yeah, very hyped that, about man. that yeah th thank you thank you very much uh, i also uh, didn't expect that <laughs> but i'm gonna temper my expectation for the future still i'm a little bit uh, I, I i don't know if i can recreate it but uh, it was perfect timing i think and but but on this um we've also seen i have also seen the comments and uh, i've seen it time and time again oh this is new this is actually so another tesla bashing uh, all over and i was thinking no boston dynamics doesn't do the same thing it isn't the same thing can it do backflips uh, is backflip is doing a backflip a uh, uh, thing that is uh, important in the job description of a factory worker i wouldn't say no. so so this doesn't make sense tesla wants to build a mass production utilizable now utilizable robot that can see and tag and learn and have a neural net a real life vision ai system inside a fsd kind of deal that was maybe a little bit adapted to the robot but still i think this is overlooked the brains of the it's it's the important the thing the brains uh, of the tesla bot the rest is even impressive it's about the mass production so the actuators are designed to being mass produced and not by hand i mean you can build 10, 20 Boston Dynamics prototypes, but when you want to go into the thousands, it wouldn't be possible. So that's why, exactly. I mean, of course, robotics companies are doing great stuff. That's also a forefront of engineering. Every company nearly does great, great robots. And Tesla bot is also one of them. But the difference here is that they have so much synergies in Tesla that they can utilize inside of the Tesla. And, that's the big takeaway, and, I think, yeah. And also, too, it's going to be one of those things, right? This is going to be another sleeping giant. We all know mm -hmm. the Absolutely. implications that this could have on the valuation of Tesla down the road. Uh, mm -hmm. But right now, like, for example, the biggest sleeping giant that Tesla has had recently has been the, st the, the battery and storage business and solar. And yeah. now you're starting to actually see, like, I think there were some stats. Uh, so keep me honest here if you've seen the stats, but like the actual amount of out of like 100 batteries that are going out for solar panels and other things, 50 to 70 percent of it, I believe, is Tesla if not more. Mm. And so wow. it's just one of those things where, you know, Tesla is is this business, uh, the Optimus business, it will probably be similar to the battery and storage business as it is now is like the battery and storage business um, and even solar business is starting to ramp like people mm -hmm. are going through crazy. Um, they're, they're going through a lot of issues with renewable energy in general, or just having energy. And we all have the sun, like no matter pretty much where you mm -hmm. are, unless you're in Antarctica or other places, you're going to get the sun. And it's mm -hmm. a, a free source that you all you have to do is stick solar panels and, and be able to store it somewhere and you can power anything and be completely off the grid. Uh, mm -hmm. But that business is is very profitable. And so it's one of those things where that is going to be the case, I think, for this bot as they're slowly developing this, it's going to be kind of like a hidden gem. And at some point in the next five to 10 years, you'll start to see it like, you know, when they actually are able to produce it and put it in homes. That's where you'll get that big multiple right now, where it's like, as we all know, Tesla has, uh, Elon has said, Tesla is um, a bunch of startups with, in one. So yeah, it's like, they have ETF. like <laughs> yeah. exactly. So I think the, the call out is, is that this is, you know, no one should be, I think, in, in my opinion, this is all us knowing that Tesla isn't a car company. We know it's a yeah. bunch of different companies. It's not necessarily something you should be baking into your insane valuations of the future, of course, yeah. but it's definitely one of those things where we all know what this is going to do.
you know, we all know that this is going to change manufacturing deliveries like home life um, and other things like that. And, and Tesla is going to be the company to do it. And so as solar is now producing and ramping and starting to be, you know, the, the business mm -hmm. that Tesla should be leaning into, uh, this will down the road, I think is going to, is going to play into that as well.